Right, hello wine drinking people. Today is Thursday, the 2nd of July. Getting ready for the big July 4th celebration. Hey, Andrew Lampassoni, I'm Italian, so whenever I celebrate, we do it with a little Italian wine. You know Barolo's my favorite, so we're sending out this July 4th eve before the eve of july 4th our one of our favorite producers from the piedmont vietti and this is a family-owned winery that uh, has been associated with high quality since the very beginning when mario vietti established the winery in the early 1900s but it wasn't until the 50s when alfred carrado took over and decided to focus on single vineyard wines and that time was a revelation and the quality of these wines well they speak for themselves and you know last few vintages it's good to see the current generation mario and luca get these high accolades, some of the highest scores, some of the highest rated wines in this vineyard. And I would say you can't drink points, but you are going to pay for them. And, uh, well, with their top-level Barolos, the Bernate, the Roque, and the Lazarito, they're now over $100 a bottle. But, hey, they only make a few hundred cases of these wines. These are very limited production wines, the top crew wines from Vietti. Hey, even the entry-level wine here, the Perbaco. This is the only Lange Nibbiolo in the marketplace that is all crew Barolos. That's right, it's all classified, uh, declassified juice from these crews that the Vietti's make their Barolos from. An absolute revelation in quality. Let me tell you, the last few vintages here in 2010, everybody raved about 2010. I don't want to say it's overhyped, but 11 to me is just as good if not better, the 2011 vintage, just a ton of ripe, concentrated fruit, wonderful, firm, ripe, round tannins, and uh, incredible acidity to these wines. They have it all, the perfect balance. And uh, like I said, if you like 10, 11 is off the charts as well. The 2011 Probaco, we've got all the magnums that they have in existence, uh, because to me, bigger is better, unfortunately. The Barolos, not much magnums to go around. If you want magnums of these crew Barolos from 2011, uh, you may want to respond to this immediately. Some of them have already sold out. The Castiglione, to me, well, they make 55,000 bottles of this wine, so not a ton either. It's at 5,000 cases or just under 5,000 cases. And um, this 2011, very ripe, very good a city. A bit riper than 2010, but not as ripe as 2009. A bigger version of the Probaco, this Castiglione Barolo. Just an exotic array of spices, red licorice thick cherry liqueur like fruit very juicy on the palate an array of that spice and floral notes in a long layered finish very dense and rich on the palate hey their entry level Barolo it's my second highest score most excellent let me tell you I didn't have a chance to try a lot of their top level wines from 11 I have had them in the past the Brunate the Lazarito the Rivera the Roque these wines some of the greatest crews in the Barolo region and uh, like I said they're finally starting to to me, charge uh, somewhat close to what these wines are worth, $150 a bottle, just a tiny production. And uh, this is their 50th anniversary producing wines like the Roque, so a very special vintage for the Vietti family. We give them kudos on all of their wines, even the RNAs, which they helped bring back from extinction, one of the best versions of this typical Piedmont white that they will, you will find. And the Moscato, both of those wines under $20, absolute incredible values as to me is everything else in this line even the 150 dollars barolos to me you will not find better wines made anywhere in the world anywhere in the piedmont or anywhere in the world for that reason check it out all these top level wines from vietti in 2011 and the entry level stuff which will blow your mind the perbaco the castiglione and like i said the arnais and the moscato i'm your host andrew lampassoni signing off for the wine watch saying remember always drink the good stuff first